Hello, and welcome back to our channel, Just Misbehaving. Join us as we hook up and go for another adventure with Misbehaving, this time winter camping along the Crooked River in Central Oregon and testing out our Propex propane heater. Hi, everyone. Hey, we've been camping in the winter. Yep, we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> um, it's been snowing here, but we have um, good weather now, yep. better weather. So we don't have any snow on the ground. No snow but certainly freezing temperatures, so this will be a first for us, but we're not gonna let it slow us down. So welcome back to our channel. You are here with Miss Behaven, and we are ready for another adventure along the Crooked River. The Crooked River is a tributary, 125 miles long of the Deschutes River in the beautiful state of Oregon. We're heading to the Palisades Campground, a 14 and a half acre area set back from the lower crooked back country byway, providing just the right amount of isolation. Okay, so we are here and no, um, we are not standing in the middle of the day. We have this ridiculous light that I'm gonna show you. Go ahead, baby, explain it. <laughs> uh, this is through uh, Free Spirit, the same company who uh, makes our tent, FSR, Free Spirit Recreation. This looks like an alien abduction, really. It's really <laughs> awesome. You can charge it by normal uh, DC plug or solar, and then it has four pods that you can use for walking around. They're super bright, hang on stuff. You got four of them, and they all dual charge, and there's all the cool things. There's, they flash. You can hit this, and it'll have a, uh, a little red cross it glows so in case somebody has to find you it's pretty cool yeah but the good part about all of this is we can set up even though it's late at night we've got a fully lit uh dining area so tonight we're gonna have pepper steak it's a scott's pepper steak and we're gonna start out with just a little olive oil some rice that i made in advance yep adolph's meat marinade good luck trying to find that but we found a couple stores that have it we're gonna slice up an onion we've got some cut up ribeye that I prepped ahead of time yes, and some bell pepper. So we'll keep you posted on the progress. Okay, here's another really cool little gadget um, that I, we, we highly recommend. <laughs> if you're wanting to save space and with teardrops, that's always a good thing. Um, this is a great knife set. The company GSI Outdoors. Yep. It's not your ordinary Ginsu. It's yeah. GSI Outdoors. Yeah, they're Straight edge super for cool. And such. Chef's knife. <laughs> and paring knife. Very sharp. And it comes with a little bottle for soap. Nice little scrubby pad and a nice little uh, cutting knife. Yep, so there it is. Yes. Tell this is real olive oil because it's solidified. <laughs> What's our temp? It's chilly out. It's chilly, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. 45. Cake. We are the only ones at this campground, by the way. <laughs> mm, looks like butter. It does. Plow disc. This is the plow disc. <laughs> Cowboy walk, kid. Yep, and gaining popularity for sure. We've seen smaller versions of these, like at the Overland Expo and whatnot, but yes, we they're did called, it first. Some people call them scottles. <laughs> Yeah. Or you could buy the brands. This is from uh, an agriculture company uh, back in Pennsylvania. And let me tell you, we cook everything on it. Yes, so we do. It, it does is everything. Amazing. So what you grilling up, babe? We are just right now grilling a little bit of green pepper and some good old sweet onion. Check this Whoa. out! Yeah. He's crazy. So for this weekend, we've got everything we need in our Dometic. Yep, all ready to go. It holds quite a bit. We've actually camped with like a week's worth of stuff in here. So, and what I love about Arrow Teardrops is that their cabinetry is beautiful. It's all very well made. We've got a sink. We're not running water because we don't want it to freeze up because we're in very chilly weather here. And then underneath, lots of storage there. Two drawers and you can see everything pulls out beautifully. 
Look at that. Dovetail drawers. So pay attention to that. Also, you know, it the slides are beautiful. Top drawer here. We added the diamond plate in the back. But lots of place to store things. Another benefit of having the plow disc is that once you're done cooking in the middle, you just slide everything up to the outer rim. So Scott's got the ribeye going right now. And you think it looks good. That's one thing, but you should smell it. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> dinner time. Bon appetit. Bon appetito. And of course, we had to finish off the evening with s'mores. campfire popcorn. <laughs> So it's pretty chilly here, um, but we were, we didn't notice it at all because guess what? We were inside and the Propex heater worked like a charm. This time of year, the water is a little muddied from all of the runoff, but it's still a beautiful view backed up to the majestic canyon walls along the byway that extend vertically in several places, adding to the scenic diversity of this area. What are we drinking today, babe? Three bottles of wine. <laughs> no, we're not. No. Um, we brought our gonna, vodka in ball jars. Uh, they're a smaller company that makes a really, really good Bloody Mary mix. Along with the same ones who make this one, Oliver's Gourmet Stuffed Olives Garlic and Jalapeno. And it's cool as you just bring your uh, Bloody Mary mix and you put your vodka in these ball jars and just make it simple uh, we've got ice in the cooler I know that's not our motto to make things simple but bloody marriage you can make simple delicioso <laughs> there you go <laughs> So let's talk about this Propex propane heater. Is it really worth spending the extra money to outfit your trailer to handle the cold weather? Hands down, yes. This heater is an automatic thermostat controlled blown air heating system fueled by propane that we opted to have mounted on the side of our teardrop. The thermostat is very easy to set to the desired temperature that you're looking for. Then to power it on, you simply press the fire button. This is a game changer. We highly recommend this heater. The only caveat to that recommendation is that you'll want to ventilate by propping your window to avoid waking up to condensation inside. So it's a little chilly <laughs> and the rain has started. So we're gonna enjoy some movies inside and hopefully try to do some fishing later. Way to tilt our awning so the rain drips off of it. Since we're stuck inside, <laughs> we're gonna enjoy a couple other things we made. We've got this age infused, age and infused navel gazer, it's called. It's a spice orange alcohol infusion, which we have poured whiskey in, and we're gonna 
enjoy. A little chilly Ooh. bit? Just a tiny bit. Get our little glasses. This is my camping sketchbook. One of the things I rarely take time to do is dabble with art. The rain helped me find the time to relax and unwind with some sketching. Most of these are a work in progress, but what an awesome way to unplug. afternoon um, it's been a windy day but we made the best of it actually it started out raining it was um, pretty chilly but we've been cozy inside for most of the day watching some movies and now we're gonna just start our day and try <laughs> our luck at some fishing another night <laughs> all right what are we making tonight well we busted on fishing although we didn't catch a duck so we're gonna eat that <laughs> <laughs> We are having seared duck with bourbon blackberry sauce tonight, and are these really good? What are these? Whiskey sours. Oh, wow! Yeah, really good whiskey sours. <laughs> so here we are, another day. Look at those Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, shallots, a little bit of bacon, and some garlic butter. Yum. Okay, so duck is on. Super easy meal. I made the Brussels sprouts partially before we went camping and Scott's just filling them up on a plow disc. And after these ducks get flipped, and if you haven't had ducks, definitely try this recipe. But just a little salt and pepper and some seasoning on it. And then when we're all done, I'll slice those up, let them rest. And Scott's gonna make a sauce out of a little bourbon whiskey and some blackberry jam with some shallots and some butter, and then you drizzle it over the top, and sure heaven. Delicioso. So here's our dinner. Yum. <laughs> this is roasted duck breast with a blackberry bourbon sauce, and we've got Brussels sprouts, and as usual, another good meal from Scotty. I get a, uh, so what do you think, babe? Oh my gosh, fantastic. <laughs> As darkness fell around us, the sky unfolded and gave way to a multitude of shimmering lights. The lower crooked wild and scenic river flows through 2,300 acres of public lands overseen by the Bureau of Land Management. The segment just below Chimney Rock has nine developed campgrounds. We chose Palisades Campground, which has 14 spacious campsites, vault toilets, and an accessible fishing pier. The rock formations were not only beautiful, they created dramatic scenery that changed with every angle of the sun. we also fell in love with the arrow teardrops is the super cute little table that you can set up when you're not sleeping in here and for days like today where it's kind of cold outside we're going to enjoy a nice breakfast indoors and i just want to demonstrate that scott is six feet tall and he still has lots of room yeah, between the ceiling room, and his like head eight inches easy so you are probably maxed out with two adults in here, maybe three. Um, but you could sit somebody, if somebody didn't mind, you could put on something actually on the other side to sit on. Yeah, um, for sure, a little, like a little bench or something. So this is where our feet are. <laughs> 
And that's what Scott was talking about. On the other side of this table, you could probably set uh, a pad of some sort or a cushion for two other people to sit in. Yeah. But it's awesome. It's, it's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. Our knees aren't cramped. We've got nope. lots of leg room. I like to put my leg out anyways. But, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So good morning, everyone, from Crooked River. Good. It was a fast and furious weekend, but thanks so much for joining us. We hope you come back and like and subscribe to our channel and join us next time when we hook up and go. Thanks, everyone.